Well, welcome back to my channel. Cornish Chris here, back on the River Dee. Amazing, can't quite believe it. Uh, back up here on the 30th of September. Actually, no, it's the 29th of September. And uh, this is the last day uh, that I could get on here because they closed today. Um, and I've picked a fantastic day because um, it's threatening heavy rain and uh, gale force winds. So, you know, my luck continues. Uh, I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm excited to be here and excited to get back on the spay rod and get fishing. Uh, I am a novice salmon fisherman. And if you've just joined me, I am on my quest to catch my first uh, salmon uh, on the fly. Uh, and I hope that uh, you'll enjoy uh, sharing my experience. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, up on this next epic adventure, I'm going to be fishing all the way through until November. I think I'm probably doing something like uh, 30 days of fishing, not all back to back, but 30 days of fishing uh, taking me through to the end of the season. So um, there'll be plenty of videos. And I'm gonna be posting each video every Sunday at half past six. Uh, so if you can't remember when that is, hit the notification bell uh, and uh, then you'll get my videos. So thanks again. Wish me luck. Well, <clears throat> you join me, finally, back in the River Dee, fishing on Inverry and Tilquilly on closing day for them. I've picked a fantastic day. Forecasts for heavy rain later on and high winds stroke gales. So it's perfect. My luck of weather continues. The last time I was here, it was a heat wave. Oopsie. And today and for the next couple of days, stormy weather. I'm trying to remember everything that everyone's told me in all of my in all of the comments on my other videos about casting. I realise I was making a few mistakes. I'm doing my best. I've made like a notebook of uh, tips which I which I looked at this morning over a cup of coffee. A lot of people have said I should get a casting lesson and I'm going to. I've got some time on this next trip that I can uh, use to my advantage uh, just to improve my casting even more. So far this uh, season I seem to be fishing purely uh, beats uh, now okay here we are first question I'm looking down the river is that the right bank or is that the left bank am I fishing from the right bank or the left bank well anyway it's the side that means I can't do my favorite circle C cast
so um, I'm going to struggle a little bit. I've just spoken to Colin, the ghillie here, very knowledgeable chap, very friendly again as always. Uh, got me set up. I'm fishing the Scandi rod again. Oh, that was typical, isn't it? I didn't let go of the line. Um, I'm fishing the Scandi rod again. This is the Shakespeare Oracle Scandi 14 foot 9 10 weight. Uh, I love this rod. This is a really cool rod. A lot of people said in previous videos I was doing far too much upstream mending. Didn't realize, you know, these are all the errors of a long in the tooth trout fisherman. It's, I think it's pretty obvious, you know, when you do trout fishing, you tend to fish upstream. You don't tend to do downstream. And I didn't realize that uh, flies are meant to be fished sort of like taut, so they actually work through the water, not dead drifting. And that salmon are going to ignore that, uh, a dead drifting fly. Better. So it's my first day back after a month and a bit off. But don't judge me too, too harshly. <laughs> What a lovely day. Nice to be in a cold river. Theo's in the car, he's had a lovely walk. He got really muddy, got to get toweled off. Uh, so he's in the car, nice and warm. And I'm out here, freezing my knackers off. Yeah, what a difference uh, uh, some time makes. I was fishing up here in the heat wave. You could have probably come in in just shorts. Oh, What's going on? I'm trying to muscle it again. So in my trip, my, this trip is going to be epic because I've dragged my caravan up and I'm going to be up here on the D until the river closes on the 16th, oh, 15th of October. I'm also uh, in this period while I'm up here in Bankery, I'm going to be fishing on the River Don. I've got a couple of days up there as well just because I want to see what it's like uh, and experience it. And then after, after that, I'm going down to fish on the North Esk. Yeah. Or the Esk rather, the North Esk. So I've got a, I'm going to be booking some days down there and then after that, after that <laughs> uh, I'm heading down for a few days on the Tweed because my friend Scott is coming up from Cornwall so we're going to have one of our famous boys fishing weekends which basically involves drinking copious amounts of alcohol Ooh. and uh, doing our best not to fall in and I'll I'll share some of that image some of those uh, that footage with you or some of that experience oh, getting better now see that I've Tempted to do another upstream mend again then. I just can't get it.
One thing that uh, a few people in the comments have said, which is very wise advice, is every few casts check your fly. Make sure it's not snarled up or snagged or anything like that. I'm fishing a fast sink tip and I'm using this fly today. Don't know what it's called. Do you know what it's called? Drop it uh, in the comments below, please. Right, well I fished through this top bit and I'm going to go through it again. This time I'm going to go with a smaller fly, this sort of like orange with a sparkly thing, single, single hook. Getting cold now. Just going to do this for an hour. Uh, I'm going to go back and have a cup of tea. Something to eat, just warm up. Change my jacket. I'm still kind of walk wearing my walking jacket. I don't know why I've left this on. I've got a perfectly good wading jacket. Not that I'm going up to my, you know, up to my back or anything. But uh, I don't really know why I've left this this jacket on. Anyway. Well, it's about half past nine. I've been here yeah, fishing for about an hour. Got, got started quite early today. And um, the weather is actually really predictable in that one minute it's absolutely chucking it down the next minute it's blowing a gale then after that it's blustery and then it's just raining <laughs> honestly a cornishman moaning about the weather who'd have thought it <laughs> At least we're not moaning about tourists, or I'm not moaning about tourists. Ah, oh, Cornwall this summer. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful weather down in the best county in the country. Busy though. <laughs> you see, um, when, you, when some, someone from Cornwall talks about the summer, they talk about it, I think, in sort of um, like a 50-50 outlook. It's going to be amazing weather, but it's going to be full of tourists. It was really busy. I don't blame people though, frankly. You know, it was absolutely amazing weather. And it was nice to be down there with mum. Getting down and seeing friends. But equally, I like being back on the road. My nomadic lifestyle is, I like it. I mean, I'm not somebody who would go for van life. I do watch a lot of van life videos. Uh, yeah, I do watch a lot of those. Lost in Transit is my favourite because they're Cornish. And uh, yeah, so I like them. I can't think of any others. And that, that, that does kind of appeal to me in a way. Oop, hey, 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 hey. That does kind of appeal to me, but at the same time, I do prefer the caravan. As I've said before, I live out of the caravan because I can park up at site, you know, camping and caravan or motorhome and caravan club uh, site and uh, 
you know, it's like between 17 and 22 pound a night. All included with electricity, you know, nice clean showers and laundrette and everything like that. So, you know, really I don't miss a lot of the home comforts. The big question everybody asks me without fail is, aren't you cold? I don't get it. I don't get that question. Because you're not cold in a caravan. My caravan is like 12 years old, but lovely, you know, insulated. It's built for this, built for um, UK weather. You know, it's insulated. I don't get any condensation. They've got an electric heater, which also runs off gas. I mean, you know, it's toasty in there. Yeah, now that is welcome. Wow, it's, it feels like a like a sauna. How nice! Oh, how nice does that look? Well, that's it. Uh, Inverie and Tilquilly. Uh, a bit of a bust, I'm afraid. Uh, we all, uh, everybody who's fishing on the river on, on that fishery all decided that because of the gale force winds and the driving rain that uh, it was making it not only very unpleasant, but also pretty dangerous. I was finding it so difficult to get a line out. Uh, the wind is just swirling around. You just, sometimes you get a line out the next bit, next time it's just so uh, coming back in your face it's so dangerous so uh 
bit disappointing. However, uh, if the river uh, starts to lower again and conditions are right on Monday and Tuesday uh, when I'm fishing at uh, Tilbury's, then I think we're in for a really good opportunity. Uh, so that's it. Cornish Chris the fish. Uh, signing out on my on the first day of my epic salmon fishing adventure up here in uh, autumn and winter uh, in Scotland. If you haven't uh, considered already, please consider subscribing um, and give us a thumbs up as well. Uh, it's worth it for standing out there in that weather. Uh, so look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.